Alright guys, I've got another fun video here. This is going to be on my Tegra Note 7 and we finally have uh, a ROM for it, uh, which is very cool. Um, so I'm going to go over a couple things that are going to try to get you up to speed on flashing ROMs and talk to you a little bit more about uh, your custom recovery, which is Clockwork My Recovery, at least at this point. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and uh, just discuss some of this stuff and then get into how to flash a ROM on the Tegra Note 7. So, first things first, prerequisites to putting a ROM on your device is going to be have an unlocked bootloader, um, have a custom recovery installed. Those are your two prerequisites to get some kind of custom ROM on your device. Um, right now what we have is just stock ROM, so it's basically what you're already running, except for it is already has root access. So it's a pre-rooted ROM, which is really cool. Um, and now that we have those, we can start working on more customizations in the ROMs. We know our prerequisites. If you don't have either of those two things, please watch my videos on them. So I'm not going to go over too much of them. You're going to have to get into recovery. And there's two ways to do recovery and get into recovery. What I'm going to show you is one of them here is to use this app called Quick Boot. And it, you grant it super user access. And then you can hit uh, recovery. And as soon as you select that, it'll boot into your recovery system. That's one way. But I'm gonna show you the way that you need to know how to do it manually so that if you mess your device up, you have a bad ROM install, you have a bad uh, backup restore or something like that, this will get us back into custom recovery. So I'll show you that. But let me show you the two ROMs that we have right now that are out. So this is my SD card. Here is my ROMs. So I have a Deodex stock 4.3 Tegra Note 7 zip and then just the stock one. So it's Deodex and stock and you can flash either of them in recovery. Also, my last recovery video, I showed you how to put Clockwork Mod Recovery on it. There's a new recovery that has better functionality with the keys, and I'll show you that. And you probably are gonna wanna take that same video, use the same principle, just flash a different file to get the new recovery I'm gonna show you here in the video. So, that's pretty much what we're working with here. Let me go ahead and power this device off. Power off, hit OK. And then, I'm gonna show you guys how to get into um, recovery kind of the old-fashioned way and and uh, this will get you in there really nicely so what you're gonna do once this thing powers all the way off or if you're stuck in some kind of boot loop you would uh, hold it until it powers off and gets to the black screen and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your button on the side right here which is um, the volume up button so be the top button of those and you're going to press that button and let's see you press it and hold it and then press and hold the power button. And you should see this screen. This is the bootloader menu. And from the bootloader menu, we can easily select right here where it says recovery kernel. So volume down. Oh, if you don't select anything, you're gonna see it actually does a normal boot. So you gotta be kinda quick on that screen or else it's just gonna do the continue boot and just boot up normally uh, from there. So you can see right here. So let me power back off again. Okay, so right here, go ahead and scroll down to Recovery Kernel. It's highlighted in green, and then hit your power button to select it. And we should boot into Recovery. Now, my last Recovery you could see was upside down. This is still upside down, which kind of stinks, but it has some better button functionality, and I'll explain that to you. So here you go, you're upside down, but it's really not a big deal. Just spin it around, and it looks good. So now you're Scrolling buttons are down here, but now the up and down actually goes up and down, which is just nice because before it didn't. And your select button is still your power. So if we're going to install a ROM, you're just going to go to um, wipes and you're going to do wipe data factor reset. Scroll to yes. Oh wait, before we do this, before you flash anything, you always want to go to backups and then select that one and hit um, backup to SD card and select it. Now I'm not going to do that and the reason I'm not is because you can see if I go to restores from SD card, I already have a restore right there that I can select if I want to, which I don't. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back again and now I'm going to do that 
wipe data factory set. But always make a uh, backup restore just in case uh, in case you mess something up or you flash a bad ROM. You can always restore that by getting into recovery manually, just like I showed you through the uh, bootloader menu and then that recovery kernel. So we're going to wipe data factory reset. And you can see it down here, wiping data and everything. There we go. And then we're going to go to wipe cache partition. Yes, it's going to do that good install zip from SD card and it's very important that you have this zip on your internal SD card not your micro SD card on the side it has to be your internal SD card when you get it on your device so choose zip from SD card zero is your SD card and then here's all your files I went ahead and threw my ROMs both in this folder called ROM and then I'm gonna flash the Deodex stock ROM so we're going to click that and we're going to say yes. Scroll down and hit yes. And there you go. That should be installing. So that's pretty much what you're going to do when you install any ROM actually, whether it's these stock ROMs here or any new ROM that comes out. That's how it's going to work in recovery here. This is called um, Bat Recovery. And I'll show you where you can get this in both of these ROMs on my new server, which is pretty cool when this thing boots up. So this little install right here, it's probably going to take you hmm, about three minutes for this ROM to completely flash. Um, and then when it's done, you will be, uh, you'll basically be running a stock rooted, pre-rooted um, Tegra Note 7 ROM that now you can go ahead and tweak and do customizations to. And you know if you ever have a problem, you can restore your Android backup or whatever you want to do with it. So there you go, that was actually pretty quick. It says it's completed, so we're gonna go back. And then we're gonna say reboot system now. And there we go, that's gonna reboot us. Um, again, spin it back around because that recovery's upside down. I've tried many, many test builds to try to get that recovery working the right side up. And very, very frustrating, could never get it. But it's very easy to spin your tablet, it's not really that big of a headache. Because um, everything does function correctly, just upside down. Anyway, let's let this boot up. First boot up, it's going to take probably just a smidge longer than normal. Um, and then you'll see we're on a custom ROM here and we'll go through startup. Alright, here we go. Um, go ahead and pick your language, push start. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi here really quick. Alright, there we go. Everything's connected up. I'm going to skip through my Google stuff really quick. Alright, so I just skipped through the setup right there. And you can see that uh, before we had a couple apps right there like Quick Boot and ES File Browser right there. And they're not there anymore because this is a stock ROM. Um, so everything else should look exactly the same except for you will have Super User which will give you guys root access on your devices which is very, very nice. Um, so no reason to flash another thing to get root access. You can just flash these either of these ROMs and you'll get root access that way. Um, last thing I want to show you guys really quick is my File, file Browser or my file server, I should say, which is right here. And it's uh, rootjunkiesdl.com. And I'll give you guys a link to it, but if you guys want the new recoveries, here they are right here. The BAT uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery is the new one I was just using. Um, this is the old one that I was using right there, which is the Clockwork Mod Recovery one. And then if you want either of the ROMs, you can go here to ROMs, and you can see the Deodex or the stock, either one, whichever you guys prefer. And all of my stuff should be pretty much hosted here. You can come in here and basically just pick your device, um, whatever it is, any of the ones I have anyway. And you can see files for those specific devices. So there you go. That's pretty much uh, everything on installing a ROM. The process is going to be exactly the same on any ROM you flash. Um, the only difference may be if you get CM11 uh, working or something on this device. You may have to also flash some Google applications after you flash a ROM. Not a really big deal, but the process is going to be the same. That's how you install a ROM on the Tegra Note 7 stock ROM here, pre-rooted. Hope you guys like this video, and as always, Root Junkie out.